You see, on the other side of Manchester, obviously a lot of people talk about the Ronaldo decision not to play him. I mean, did that did that surprise you in terms of Oli's decision? Because you know Ronaldo well. Is he someone, even though he's getting older, can play every single week? And would he want to play every <laughs> single week? 100% it will annoy him. <laughs> 100%. Um, he sees every game as an opportunity to score goals and he wants to score goals and he's obsessed obviously with scoring goals and he wants to help the team and he wants to win the title um he wants he came to england like he said to to win and uh he he's one of them guys that he just has to play at every game you know and especially at home you know at old trafford he mm. will 100 percent want to play every single game it doesn't matter um, you know, if you think he's tired or not, he's he prepares to play every single game and he's fit to play every single game. Now, we all know that it's the manager's um, decision and he has a lot of options uh, uh, also of quality to play up front. But, you know, he Ronaldo himself, he will want to play every single game. What is he like to, what is it like to have him on your team? And, and how much difference does that make having someone with that mentality, not just the, the talent he has? The way I see it is I just have to keep clean sheets, try <laughs> to keep clean sheets because I know that he, if he gets a chance and normally, you know, the teams that he plays for will get chances, he will put it away. So it's just, it gives you some kind of, uh, comfort that you know you have somebody that is going to probably score a goal for sh- you know 99% of the times he will uh, score the, with the chances that he has so I just focus on defending well and try to get the clean sheet so he does his job up front How much of a, a title contender does he make Manchester United in comparison to what they would have been without him? I think uh, they will be more feared now 100% um, and um, with him in the squad, like I said before, I think uh, they will be competing for the title. I think um, you, you look around that squad, there, there's goals everywhere. There's goals everywhere. And um, they've added also Rafael Varane, which is somebody that I you know respect a lot and um, think he's a, a very, very good defender. And that brought some solidity to the team. Um, so they look to me as the whole package and I would imagine that they will be competing until the end for the title one team one team will certainly be competing I think would be Chelsea we spoke briefly there Josie about Manchester City not having an out and out number 9 goal scorer one team it certainly does and they've, they've spent a lot of money getting them from Italy would be Lukaku and Chelsea what's he like in terms of to play against and can you see him being the real difference from Chelsea? We'll look at Chelsea, it's a kind of strange thing to say. Champions League winners, you know, last year, great side, but we always felt they were lacking some yeah. day of that, you know, yeah. that presence. He brought the goals, that's, that's the reality. He brought uh, um, much more threat going forward. Um, he's somebody that evolved through the years. He became, uh, I think, much more complete striker now uh, he's much more confident you know I remember playing him when he was at West Brom with 18 yeah. years old you know yeah. <laughs> he was raw he was tough to play against yeah. but he was very raw, raw. Uh, and now he's you can see that he's a different beast now um, and Chelsea the way the manager got him got them to play uh, this type of football you know he Tuchel is a very very good manager organized you can see Chelsea has a method- methodology you know a philosophy of playing and uh, with him up front now, they got the gold. So, you know, very, very big threat, obviously, to, to win this title. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.